What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now, I have just been out into my lounge and I have been collecting fish from the four foot tank because that tank out there is um, basically massively over uh, stocks now. So what I've done, I've collected about nine or 10 Congo Tetris. There's one Colombian Tetra in there as well and a couple more Brissonose Plecos to put in the snakehead tank. So the snakehead tank is pretty under stock at the moment. Obviously I've got two snakeheads in there, a few Danios and a three or four Corridor, I think there's four, yeah, four Corridors and a couple of Plecos. So there's not a lot going on. It's got a sponge filter up and it's got a 407 and all the fish are pretty small. So they're not in loads and loads like say, like this arowana here. So it's pretty unstocked so I can add some more stuff into it. It's a good thing as well because that tank out there was pretty overstocked. And a good thing, I haven't got to go out and buy new fish. I've got other fish which I can put straight in this tank, which is always good. Another thing today, I've got to unbox some boxes I've got sent over there from Quantum, I'm pretty sure, and the other one's from NT Lab. So let me get um, a pair of scissors or a knife or something and open them up and see what's inside. So let's start with the smallest box. Now earlier I would have filmed um, me taking all the fish out of the four foot tank in my lounge but all my family are in there at the moment, all my kids and my, my wife so it's quite hard to film in there, the kids are screaming, um, there's toys scattered everywhere so it would have been absolutely stressful. But this one here is from NT Labs and I have been sent some predatory floating food so these are quite big actually, the ones I've been had before are quite small. This is fantastic food as well honestly. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my Hakari food, but my Arowanas really like this food, which is good. And um, I wouldn't say on my channel if it was bad. It is actually really good food. There's no rubbish in it, anything like that. You can get this from um, Maidenhead's Aquatics, I'm pretty sure sell it. Uh, Lee Valley Aquatics sells this. There's a few shops in the UK. There's actually a lots of shops in the UK which sell this food. So yeah, that's wicked. Thanks so much, NT Labs, for that. Honestly, my fish are gonna absolutely love that. So there's two of them. And there is a product guide in here. So obviously they've got some new products out and stuff, but look how professional that looks. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Loads of marine stuff. If you're into marine tanks, they do some quality marine stuff and they also do a lot of koi stuff as well. Um, another thing, we need to go to my brother's house and film um, the pond. We haven't filmed that for ages. All the fish are doing fine in that pond. Um, we haven't lost any of the fish, which is good because um, I posted a video back in the summer and it was a bit crazy. We had sort of a, a free afternoon after work and my brother goes, I've bought all these fish, we need to go and pick them up today. It's a massive rush. So yeah, we had to add them all into his tank, but they've all done absolutely fine. We did actually move some of the fish into my father-in-law's pond. They're still alive as well, so all good. But yeah, just um, a uh, magazine here to tell you what products they do. There's loads of food they do for shrimp, discus, cichlids chocolate food, there's loads of stuff going on. So go and check into your labs out, honestly their stuff is quality. Now let's open up this bigger box. I think this one's from Quantum, I'm quite sure. So what we've got in here, we've got loads of these green things. What is this? Activated carbon. Um, I personally don't use carbon at the moment, but it's always handy to keep stuff like this in stock. Maybe in the future you might use it for another tank, but um, I don't personally use it right now. But much appreciated, thanks for that. Pop that over there for now. Oh, and this is gonna be used a hell of a lot. This is massive. So, we've got a whole, I think it's five liters, yeah, five liters of water primer. So as you know, I normally have, I think it's a two litre or a one and a half litre bottles. I think, yeah, I think it's a, no, it's a one litre bottle. And they last absolutely ages. So I've got five litres here. This would probably do me for the rest of the year and maybe a bit into the new year because this stuff is so highly concentrated. Honestly, I used to use Seachem Prime. That is really good as well, don't get me wrong. It's fantastic stuff. But I have changed over to this stuff now. Um, it's a little bit stronger. And uh, yeah, I've gotten really well with it. Actually, a few people I know are actually using stuff now as well. They've swapped over from Seachem Prime and they're using this. So yeah, if you haven't used this before, go and give it a, um, a go. It's actually in my description. There's a link in the description. You can buy it from Amazon. So click on that link, it's take you straight to it. So um, yeah, go and give it a go. Fantastic products. Thank you so much, Quantum, for sending me all this. I'm pretty sure that's all of it. Yep, yeah, that's all of it. So let's get rid of these boxes. 
because I need to free up a bit of room. So let me quickly show you how many fish we've got in this bucket. So there are actually quite a few in here. Now the temperature in this tank is 22 degrees. They've obviously come from a tank which was 25 degrees, but they've been in this bucket for about half an hour or so now, something like that. So the temperature's obviously gone down in the water here, so it probably replicate the temperature in here. So there won't be any um, shock fish or anything like that going on. But anyway, I'll stop going on, let me show the fish. Right, so there we are. Sorry about all the valleys floating about. I did a, um, a bit of a cut back on the aquarium in the lounge as well. There's a bit of wood in there as well, a bit of a new Anubis Nana on it as well, which I'm gonna put in there. But there are, I think, nine or 10 Congo Tetras. There's one Colombian Tetra. Um, and there are some bristlenose plecos, I'm pretty sure, as well. Yeah, there's a huge bristlenose that's just come off there. Well, I say huge, it's not actually that big. But he's big compared to the other ones I've got in the tank. And there's another one as well. Just wanted to give the snakeheads a bit more confidence. So if there's a few more fish in the tank, the snakeheads will be, feel a bit more at home. So anyway, let me show you the snakehead tank. What's it going in? So this is the snakehead tank. It's a three foot tank. It is about 320, 330 litres roughly with the 407 on it. It's quite a cool looking tank. I've got two snakeheads in here. They are, they are under the wood there. There's a smaller one at the back and the bigger ones under there. They've made sort of a den underneath this wood. So it's pretty cool what they've been doing. But yeah, this is where all those fish will be going. Um, I've got the big Danios in here as well. And the Corridoras are just at the bottom here. So all the fish are doing absolutely fine since we added them the other day. That was on, I think, two videos ago. That was before I visited um, Jacob's setup. So yeah, that was a video before then. So I think it's about a week ago now. So if you haven't seen that one, go and check that out. We added all these fish into this tank. But yeah, it's just another video today of me adding more fish into this tank. But anyway, let's get the net. Let's get the fish out and put them straight in this tank. So that is all those fish added to this tank. It's actually given the tank so much life. I absolutely love it, it looks sick. I, um, annoying thing, I dropped some black soil in here which has gone all over my pink soil, which is so annoying, but um, I'll sort that out another day. I'm not doing it right now because I've got lots to do tonight. But yeah, that's all the Congo Tetras and the one Colombian Tetra added in the tank. I think they look absolutely sick. There is actually a random platy in there as well. I didn't actually realize which is there. But yeah, it looks absolutely wicked. And there's the two Bristlenose Plecos which we added. And the other two are at the back, which we added a few weeks ago now. There's one of them there, which is female. And we've got another female on the wood there. And the two bigger males, which are here. But honestly guys, I love this tank, but I'm just trying to get the snakeheads out. They're real hard fish to get out. You can see them just chilling out underneath this piece of wood. They sort of made a dent under there. So it's really hard to get these guys out. Um, I do stand by the door, feed them, and they do come up to the top and eat the pellet. But yes, it'd be really nice to have them sort of swimming about like these tetras are right now. But um, yeah, hopefully that comes in the future, but I just have to wait for now. But um, yeah, the tank's come along really well. I'm actually popping into ND Aquatics one day this week to speak to Dom about the big tank which we're going to be putting here and there's going to be another tank behind me as well, a five foot tank. So yeah, we should be doing something really cool with that as well. Also, the bass are doing fine in this tank. They're actually growing quite a fair bit in the last week, which is quite scary, but that's what bass do. Um, I still haven't figured out what bass this one is at the back, but I've actually just put the video up of me adding this fish literally 10 minutes ago so maybe someone in the comments will um, know what this fish is which hopefully they do but yeah guys that is all those fish added into this tank i think it looks absolutely sick um, and the other tank should be a bit more happier now they've got a bit more room in there basically all i've got in the other tank now is rainbow fish um plecos what else i've got in there uh clown matches um denison barbs it's a few other fish in there not a lot going on really i want to keep it basically a rainbow tank because some of my bows money rainbows are really starting to put on some beautiful colors and size now so i wanted to get these tetras in another tank and this tank was perfect for that but anyway guys i'll stop going on that is a video done for today thank you for watching as always like and subscribe to my channel ding the notification bell and uh keep it real everyone